Now, South Africa's ruling ANC party, which has been in power since the end of apartheid, has acknowledged that it may lose its majority if it can't fix the country's energy crisis. The Secretary-General told the BBC prolonged rolling power cuts are the party's Achilles heel. And the leader of a radical opposition party, the Economic Freedom Fighters, says a collapse of the national grid this winter could spark a revolution. Stephen Sacker reports from Cape Town. Night falls in Kayalicha Township, Cape Town. The power is out, the street lamps are off, and law enforcement is braced for trouble. Cape Town is the murder capital of Africa. Rolling power cuts have heightened residents' fears of the local criminal gangs. What are you doing with this stuff? This bust was routine, drugs, weapons, but no violence. Immediately one can identify the criminal markings that's been etched all over on the inside of the premises. There you see the number 28, one of the notorious prison gangs. Kayalicha is home to more than a million people. More than half live below the poverty line. Young people can't get jobs. The state is struggling to provide basic services. And now the power is off for up to 12 hours a day. Wiseman Bambata's upholstery business relies on a battered electric sewing machine. Power cuts are destroying his livelihood, and he's angry. I would like to see a different government because I'm losing hope from our government. President Cyril Ramaphosa and the ruling ANC are in trouble, and they know it, accused of incompetence and overseeing a failing state. We are focused in terms of dealing with it, it is an Achilles heel, and I can't tell you tonight uh, or any time that uh, this is an easy matter for our government. Surely, after COVID-19, this is the biggest challenge that has actually faced us internally. Two years ago, street violence and looting hit several South African cities. This wasn't supposed to happen in the rainbow nation envisaged by Mandela. Now the power cuts are deepening the disillusion. Elections are coming next year, and one populist politician senses opportunity in the current crisis. Let the grid collapse as it is going to happen and see what's going to happen in this country. I'm not wishing it. I'm saying it's going to happen. And you will see what's going to happen. Do you think that once the grid collapse, uh, people are going to exchange roses with government? People are going to rise. Back in Kayalicha, Wiseman, wife Ruby, and their two young daughters huddle in the candlelight. Do you feel safe when there is no power? No, we don't. We don't. Actually, what I do, I make sure that all the kids are inside the house, firstly, and then we lock the door. We lock the gate. 29 years in power, and the ANC can't keep the lights on. Sooner or later, South Africa's rulers face a painful reckoning. Stephen Sacker, BBC News, Cape Town.